In this video, I will share with you the easiest and most efficient way to identify key levels when trading Forex. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. All right, so you might be asking yourself, what exactly are these key levels? What do I mean by key levels? Well, essentially, these key levels are areas where price rejected from in the past multiple times, okay? And it is very important for us to be able to identify these key levels correctly because based on that, we then can look for possible trade entries, okay? Because after we identify these key levels, we know that, okay, price has rejected multiple times from this area, we know that this is a point of interest. We know that this is a zone where we could look for some possible entries, okay? And now I'll get right into the video and show you the easiest way to identify these key zones, okay? So first things first, I wanna let you know that I currently don't use the line chart at all, but in the beginnings when I had a bit of trouble with identifying key zones, I was enabling the line chart, okay? So you, you would go right here and you will click on line and like this, you will have the line chart enabled. And what you have to do is just look at current price section, okay? If we want to trade next week or this week, you don't want to scroll weeks back and, and look for some key levels here. No, we don't want that. Just keep it simple. If you're on the four hour, you'll just look at the current chart. If you, if you want to identify on the 15 minute, you'll do the same. Okay, you don't have to scroll back in time for weeks and, and identify key levels from here. I'm not saying that those won't, won't work and won't hold, but it's going to be too noisy. Okay, so uh, also, again, key levels can be identified on each time frame. So no matter if you're a swing trader, a day trader or a scalper, this will come in handy. It is just up to you to choose the time frame you want and play with it. Okay. So first things first, like I said, we will enable the line chart. I'm on a four hour Euro USD chart, but again, this doesn't really matter because we can use any time frame we want. And here I would look for touches. Okay. I would look for areas where price rejected from multiple times. And a very important area I just saw is this one right here. Okay. So check this out. We have a rejection here, second rejection here, third rejection here, fourth, fifth, and now sixth. Okay. Based on this, um, in the beginning of this week, we could have identified this as our key level, okay? And based on this, we would then enable the, the, the candlestick chart and check this out, okay? This lines up perfectly. Of course, I would, have, I would have been able to spot it without the line chart, but like I said, for this video, I'm going to use the line chart because this is the easiest way to start identifying key levels. Then in time, of course, once you get more experienced, you won't need the line chart anymore. You'll just be able to do it right from the get-go on the candlestick chart. Okay, so we can see once again, rejection here, rejection here, rejection here as well, rejection here, rejection here and here. So this is a major key level on the four hour Euro USD uh, pair, okay? And now, because we know that, because we know that this zone has a high chance of rejecting, of pushing price, either to the up or to the downside if it would break low and then retrace if it, if it would have done something like this we would have known we would have knew that price could reject from here and go lower but in this case we saw that price is going towards it and knowing that we would just look to see if we get if we can get a possible entry at this zone okay we could also see that this is kind of a head and shoulder pattern okay we are combining confluences this is the left shoulder this is the head and this is the right shoulder that is forming right there. Okay. So that's another added confluence. We have price entering this key level that we know has a high chance of uh, rejection and we already start to see some resistance and boom, check this out. Bullish engulfing, the right shoulder has been formed. I mean, not really because it's kind of lower than the head. So I'm, I guess this wouldn't really be a, a valid head and shoulder pattern but this is a very valid double bottom pattern, okay? This is a very valid double bottom pattern, and I know a lot of you guys are um, a fan of trading patterns, so here we go. Here we go, a combo of confluences to get a nice entry right here. Stop loss could be right below the zone, and then of course, take profit, it is totally up to you. You could aim for these highs right here, and then it wouldn't really matter. But again, 
This video is not necessarily a strategy video. This video is about how to properly identify key levels when trading Forex. And uh, let's go back on the line chart, okay, and, and look for some more key levels. Okay, this was a perfect example um, of a key level that has a very high confluence. And again, here it proved us that it is a very important key level because price rejected from it and then broke through it. Of course, one thing that you guys should know is that the more touches a key zone has over a long period of time, let's say it has six, seven, eight touches, the more likely it will be to, um, to not hold anymore. Okay, the best key zones from my experience are the ones with let's say two, three, or four rejections. Okay, if it already has six or seven rejections, most likely soon that zone will not hold anymore. Okay, it will get broken. Okay, so this is also something that I've noticed in, uh, in time, of course, with experience. So uh, right here, check this out. This is another key level. Okay, very simple to identify using the line chart. Why is this a key level? Well, because we have a rejection here, then we have a rejection here, 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 and then after it broke above, it became a support level. What did I say here? Okay, I said that if price will, bro it will break this key level to the downside, it will most likely become a resistance level. If it would do this, then it would come back and then it would mo most likely become a resistance level. And this is exactly what happened here. It initially was a resistance level and then when price broke above it, it became a support. So right here, knowing this, you could have looked for a nice buy entry. Okay, so we knew that this was a very valid key level. Okay, I mean, this one wasn't formed this one wasn't yet formed, this key level that we have drawn right here. Um, but let's focus on this one and let's enable the candlestick chart. Okay, so check this out. Once again, rejection here, rejection here, rejection here and here. And now price fully broke above it. Price fully broke above it. But we know that this is a key level. And because of that, we could look for some buy entries right on it. Okay, so boom, check this out. Immediate reaction immediate reaction. Of course, you could have um, you could have waited. Again, another reaction. You could have also uh, placed a FIB as a extra confluence and you could have seen that this would line up perfectly with your 50% level if you're, if you're into FIBs, of course, if you're trading FIBs. But again, it's a mix of confluences. But key levels could be the main pillar. After you know how to identify key levels, then you come with patterns, then you can come with FIB levels and combine it to have a uh, accurate entry that has multiple confluences. Okay, so I, I really hope that makes sense. And boom, check this out. You could have waited for a bullish engulfing, for a nice little bullish engulfing, and you would have got it right here. You could have placed the buy, stop loss right below the low, and then take profit. Again, could have been up to you. You could have aimed for this high right here, which would have gave you a 3R. And if we play the market, this would have been a very nice trade. But again, like I said, this is not a strategy video. Uh, I just wanted to show you how e easy it is to identify key levels and how important it is. Because like I said, this can be a main pillar of your trading system. If you know how to identify key levels, then you can go ahead and um, look for other confluences to be able to get consistent entries every single week on every single pair you want to trade. Of course, like I said, feel free to uh, to choose the right plan for you because you might be a scalper and you can use the same exact strategy on the one minute if you want to. Um, if you are a swing trader, you can use it on the daily four hour. If you're a day trader on the M15 or M30. Like I said, you can identify key levels on every single time frame. So now uh, for a short recap, uh, let's go quickly through everything we uh, discussed in this video. But before we do, I also wanted to let you know that if you want to see the trades I am taking every single day, you should go ahead and check out the Telegram group. It's the first link down below. Feel free to join us and see the trades that we are taking every single day. So now, before we end the video, uh, let's do a quick recap. So the easiest way to identify key levels is to enable, enable the line chart. Stay on the current chart. Don't scroll back because it's not needed. Stay on the current chart and look for areas where price rejected from multiple times. By multiple times, I mean at least 
two or three rejections, okay? At least two or three rejections. After you see that, draw a rectangle around that zone and that's your key level. In time, like I said, you will be able to identify these key levels on the candlestick chart. I personally identify key levels on the candlestick chart, but again, in the beginning, it really helped me to use the line chart because it was a lot easier for me to see the areas where price rejected from multiple times. And after that, after you do a back test, after you train your eye, because like I said, this takes time for you to, to master, to fully, uh, to fully master, uh, you will then be able to come with other confluences, like for example, patterns, fib levels, um, whatever you want, basically, you name it, and you'll be able to have a nice little strategy using key levels as your main pillar, okay? And uh, yeah, that being said, I really hope everything made sense. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it and also feel free to share it. That'll be very much appreciated. If there's any questions regarding anything, feel free to reach out to me down below in the comment section. I'll always make sure to read all the comments. Until next time, I want to wish you all the best and take care.